بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان السلام علیکم ربش رحلی صدری و یسر علی عمری وحل الطم السانی یفقہ قولی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آر ٹو ڈیز لیسن از اباؤٹ دا اسٹرکچر آف اسکیلیٹل مسلس اینڈ دس ٹاپک از فرام یور چیپٹر نمبر تھری وچ از اسپورٹ اینڈ موومنٹ ایز اسٹوڈنٹس وی ہیو آلریڈی ڈسکس دا ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف مسلس وچ آر دا اسکیلیٹل مسلس کارڈیک مسلس اینڈ اسموتھ مسلس before going into the detail of the structure of the skeletal muscles we will recall some of the properties of the skeletal muscles that these skeletal muscles are attached to the bony skeleton and these are responsible for the tremendous power or the rapid movements or the movements of our limbs plus they are voluntary in action they are multinucleated and made up of the elongated cells their cells are actually multinucleated having more than two nuclei plus they are showing the striations or they are stripped in appearance so today we will discuss their structural detail as you are watching the figure that the brown color portion is representing the bone to which the skeletal muscle is attached whose structure we have to study today so the gray color portion is representing the tendons which are connecting which are the tough bands of the connective tissues which actually attach the skeletal muscles to the bones and now the red color portions are showing you the presence of the skeletal muscles now the skeletal muscles are made up of the long elongated cells which are called the muscle fiber cells muscle cells or the myocytes so today our main topic is about the structure or the ultra st- uh, structure detail of the myocyte or the muscle cell fibers so here in this figure you are watching the whole skeletal muscles are having the bundles of these myocytes or the muscle fiber cells and these bundles are known as the fascicles in the fascicles there are many bundles of the muscle cell fibers so these muscle cell fibers again are having some other structures which are called the myofibrils and these myofibrils have the contractile proteins which are called the myosin and actin filaments and these collectively are called the myofilaments so the myofibrils are you can say are within the myocytes and myocytes are making the bundles which are called the fascicles which are present along the whole length of the skeletal muscles so this is the overall arrangement so the overall skeletal muscle is in wrapped in a fibrous connective tissue covering which is called the epimysium and these are co- containing the different five sorry the bundles of the muscle cells which are called the fascicles and each fasciculus is again covered by another covering which is called the perimysium while the individual myocytes are covered by the endomysium so this is the overall structure of the skeletal muscles here students we are watching again the over another Uh, you can say the view of the skeletal muscles that in this figure again you are watching the muscle fiber cell which is collectively present in an arrangement or the bundle which is called the fasciculus and the, you are watching that the many fasciculi are present within the skeletal muscle so the individual muscle fiber is enwrapped into the endomysium and the fasciculi are enwrapped by the perimysium while they are collectively enwrapped making a skeletal muscle into the perimysium so this is the overall arrangement of the muscle fiber cells in a skeletal muscle now student in this figure you are individually watching the muscle fiber cells muscle cells or the myocyte these are the alternative terms used for same the muscle fibers so this is the individual muscle fibers as we spoke of earlier that the myocytes or the muscle fiber cells or the elongated cells showing the striations striations means showing the dark and light bands or the strips within the muscle fibers what is the reason for this stripped appearance or the striations 
within the skeletal muscles we will see in some moments first we will discuss the overall structure of the muscle fibers so we will take start from the outer covering so after the endomysium which is the sheath of the fibrous connective tissue covering the individual muscle fibers like the perimysium which is covering the fasciculi and the uh, sorry uh, the you can say the um, epimysium which is collectively covering the whole uh, skeletal muscles so after the endomysium which is covering the muscle fiber cell the next covering is called the plasma membrane of the muscle fiber cells but stop the special term is used for the plasma membrane the muscle fiber cell which is called the sarcolemma so the first covering is the sarcolemma and within the sarcolemma you are watching the different bundles again these are the bundles of the contractile proteins or the myofil uh, sorry the uh, myo uh, filaments and these myofilaments are present in the bundle forms making the bundles which are called the myofibrils so the myofibrils are present along the whole length of this muscle fibers before moving to the structural detail of the myofibrils and the myofilaments we will see some other organelles which are present within the muscle fiber cells so in the figure you are watching the purple overcolor organelles which are called the nucleus as we spoke of earlier that the muscle fiber cells are multinucleated and these nuclei are present at the peripheral regions peripheral regions means near the sarcolemma or the plasma membrane of the muscle fiber cells again in the figure you are watching the yellow color transverse tubules these are actually called the t tubules t means the transverse these are the invaginations of the sarcolemma deep into the sarcoplasm and what is the sarcoplasm this sarcoplasm term is used for the cytoplasm of the muscle fiber cell so these t tubules are present transverse or the perpendicular to the myofibrils and these are these their membranes are adjacent to the endoplasmic reticulum of the muscle fiber cells now the special term is used for the endoplasmic reticulum of the muscle fiber cells which is called the sarco uh, endoplasmic reticulums so this is the overall arrangement of the muscle fiber cells and their organelles here you are watching the reason of the striations on the skeletal muscles which is due to the striations within the myofibrils and these myofibrils like you are watching here in the form of the bundles in the muscle fibers you are watching the bundles of different red colored dots these are actually the myofibrils so here you are watching the individual myofibrils and the collection of this myofibrils is present along the whole length of the muscle fiber cells so these striations are due to the dark and the light bands of the myofilaments and these myofilaments are called the actin filaments and the myosin filaments actin filaments are made up of the actin protein which are actually the thin filaments while the myosin filaments are the thick filaments which are made up of another protein which is called the myosin protein so due to the presence of this thick and thin filaments these myofibrils are showing the striations and the overall skeletal muscles are showing the stripped appearance due to the striations of these myofibrils so these myofilaments along the myofibrils are present in a special arrangement making a contractile unit called the sarcomere so here you are watching the presence of sarcomere so we will see the detailed structure of the sarcomere or the contractile unit of the myofibril so that means the myofibrils are the contractile threads which are present along the whole length of the muscle fibers due to the contraction of this muscle fibers the skeletal muscle fiber cells are actually contracting and due to the contraction of this muscle fiber cells or the myocytes the overall skeletal muscles can be contracted and the contraction means the movement of the skeletal muscles due to which our limbs and different organs can move so 
actually these are the myofibrils which are having the contractile proteins which are called the actin and myosin filaments so in our next lesson we will see the detailed structure of the sarcomere and the contraction process or the mechanism of this myocyte thank you and allah hafiz